very natural. The more connected you get to your heart, the more your heart starts to open, the more that that cement on your heart starts to crack or the ice on your heart starts to melt, you'll start to feel a connectivity that feels like a state of grace because you don't have to do anything and you're feeling peaceful. What do I do when meditation makes me cry? That's really powerful. I love that you asked that question because there's a time in the beginning when people begin to meditate that they start to watch and observe their thoughts more capably. And that can feel really hard and uncomfortable and disconcerting when you're thinking negative thoughts, especially about yourself and you don't know how to get out of that loop. And often you can feel like you're sad or it brings up some sadness because you're letting yourself feel for the first time. You're just being quiet and all these emotions well up or all these thoughts come to you and they can feel sad or they can feel hard to deal with because there's so many. As you get more practice at breathing and you can slow down your mind by slowing down your breath and then just observing some of these thoughts you'll start to see that you're more comfortable with your thoughts and you really don't identify with them as much. They're just thoughts about things. You can let them go. You don't have to act on them. You don't have to identify with them. Again, they're like clouds in the sky. They're floating by. And so the more you let them just float by and don't identify with them, the more objective you become. Our true divine self is an absolute objectivity. It's not judging anything. It's not in a place where it's making you have to do anything. It's just observing. So when you get more practiced at sitting and being with yourself and you start to connect to this divine being of you, what often happens is what I call your tears turn to golden tears. This is very natural. The more connected you get to your heart, the more your heart starts to open, the more that that cement on your heart starts to crack or the ice on your heart starts to melt. You'll start to feel a connectivity that feels like a state of grace because you don't have to do anything and you're feeling peaceful. It's that peace that path is all understanding. You start to feel this peace and it isn't because you did anything to deserve it. You're just sitting in this place where it's upwelling from within you. The connectivity is upwelling from within you. And you will often find that you are crying out of gratitude or a sense of peace and connectivity. Maybe you never felt this before, that it's just relief and it feels like you're tapping the gold. I call it golden tears. These tears, the tears that you cry in the beginning when you begin to meditate, they start to wash away, you know, wash away the veil that makes you feel separate from the world and, and disconnected from life and can't make sense of your own life or have things work out for you. Well, you have to kind of wash away that, that vision because it's not true. And it's not helpful and it's not whole. Once you start to clear away all of that misperception, you start to see more clearly. And that's the golden tears. You start to see the things that you missed before that are beautiful. You'll notice kids laughing. You'll notice the sky. You'll start to see flowers. That's when the golden tears start to come. And so meditation is possibly going to make you cry at times. You'll feel that you're either washing away the veil of the illusion or that you're connecting so deeply to something more when your eyes are closed, that you, when you open your eyes, these golden tears that you feel that come as a result of feeling this overflow of grace from the connectivity that you now have with your inner being begin to, to let you see a different world outside. And, and you see the world come to life, the world of the miraculous. You start to see the miracles pave your way all day, every day. So 
be aware of that. I love the question. Um, don't feel upset if you start to cry with meditation. It's part of the process of clearing your vision to be able to see with a whole eye, the holy eye, to see the world around you in a miraculous way.